and prescient reported an 11% rise in first half uh, profit from continuing operations and a dividend of two and a half cents declared there. Joining us now to look at the numbers further is company CEO uh, Herman Stein and uh, also the Chief Financial Officer Michael Buckham. Let's start with you Herman and perhaps just give an overview here of the results and put that uh, profit increase into context. Yes, um, thank you David. Um, we had a few things that we were busy with in the last year and I think if you look at the operations that all the operating entities are, are performing well, um, we made a difference between the sort of like ongoing operations and the uh, uh, discontinued operations. I think Mike can give us a bit more feedback on that in a second. Um, but we're happy with the way that the ongoing operations are performing. In the world that you're in, you're in information technology, you've got investment holdings, and the environment that you're operating in, has it been a tough year? I, th I think it's, it's been an interesting year. I think the tougher year was almost 2012, um, when the markets were moving very much sideways. We've seen much stronger equity markets this year. So in terms of the investment performance significantly up, uh, we can see the absolute return funds performing well. Um, and on the uh, IT side, I think that um, it's the operations have been done well. We've seen good earnings coming through there, um, both across Africa and in Australia. Um, the prospects are looking good. Well, let's move to the Chief Financial Officer, Michael Bucker. Michael, uh, Herman mentioned their continued and discontinued operation. Let's drill down into a bit of the detail of that and, and how that contributed to the numbers. Sure. Yes, David. Um, I think what's quite significant um, is just prior to our reporting date, we um, accepted an offer to sell our Irish operation, our Irish asset management operation. And um, I think that um, made us look at how we reported that. I think it's important to reflect it uh, correctly for, for users' sake. Um, so we've reported our, our uh, present island operation as a discontinued operation, and we will um, be showing that um, separately from the continuing operations, which is obviously our normal operational um, earnings from asset management, our administration, and our obviously our IT businesses. Michael, looking at uh, the year ahead as opposed to, to the year behind, uh, if an investor says, uh, what are the numbers that we must look at here? How do we know that this company is a good prospect? What are the kinds of things that you would point to? Well, I think one must look at the continuing operations earnings. Um, I think the, the discontinued operations does impact um, the way those numbers look and it's important for us to, to separate those. So I think you must look at the, the continuing operation specifically. And I think our, our asset base um, is an important area to, to have a look at. And I think we've, we've obviously stabilized the asset base and we're, we're looking to grow significantly in, in our administration business. We've uh, accepted a, a mandate from a, a fairly large asset manager, RECM. You'll see it in the results. And I think those do give us um, a, a good foundation for, for future growth, particularly in, in the financial services and, and across the IT areas, there's some very exciting opportunities from a growth perspective as well. Herman, you, you mentioned, uh, we do, talked about your information technology and then of course there are the assets under management. Uh, the, the business model, what's behind it? Did it happen by chance? Is this deliberate? Is it going to stay the same? No, I think it is it's quite deliberate. I. It, some of it was opportunistic over the last 15 years. I think maybe just to recall that we started the IT business the same time as we started the investment business in 1998. And they've grown independently. Um, and we're happy with the growth of both industries. As we developed, we um, had additional services that we can add on. So stockbroking, administration services uh, were added at a later stage. And they fit in exactly with our program. It is, if you want to have the best technology available, um, you need a very large asset base to support that. And being able to offer this to other fund managers um, helps us afford that technology. For instance, we do now administration for 17 fund managers in South Africa. Um, we've got an iron operation that also does administration. There we've got two UK managers that we now insource or they outsource to us the administration. So that business is growing well and we really feel that it's going to be a strong growth. Well, We're probably seeing assets and administration going from about 20 billion to probably 40 billion early next year. Well, that's so it. The that, that is quite strong growth and we hope that will continue. Is strong growth and, and it makes sense. And then stock is fits in quite clearly into a financial services industry. Uh, and I think we are asset manager one 
absolute return manager of the year. Our stockbroker was awarded the best agency broker of the year. Um, so I think they perform exceptionally well in their specific areas where they ex um, concentrate on. And we expect that to grow strongly as well. Makes sense. Thanks to Prescient CEO Herman Stein and the Chief Financial Officer Michael Buckham talking to us from Cape Town.